Looks like green's ready to go. Looks like red's ready to go. Blue looks good. Yellow, good job. Y'all look really good. I've got everybody's attention now. I'm doing the light first tonight. So, no, I can do less than No. Okay. So, how many of you have had something that was really, really hard to do? Maybe it was at school. Maybe it was. Maybe somebody asked you to do something and you thought it'd be too hard. Like maybe, maybe it was just clean your room. That ever happened? You look at your room and you're like, oh, it's too hard. You can't do it. Yeah. I know. I heard Olivia say laundry. <laughs> maybe you help you. Maybe you help around the house. No. Oh, I heard somebody say math. Yes. Math. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe somebody's asked you to do something, and then and it's like it, you feel scared about it, and you're nervous about it, and you feel like I can't do it. I'm not. No, none of you. Maybe some of you. Okay, so my verse, when I feel like I can't do it, and I feel nervous, or or I'm scared to try, or. Yeah, that's usually it. I'm just scared to try, or it sounds like something too hard, and I think I can't do it. I always think of the verse in Philippians 4.13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I always say that. I can do anything with Jesus. So, it's kind of short and sweet tonight. I want you guys to remember that you can do anything with Jesus. You can pray about it, and he'll help you. He'll give you wisdom. He'll help you do things that you didn't think you could ever do. Just if you pray, and he'll bring an answer to you, or he'll, he'll make you feel encouraged, make you feel like you can do it. So I always think on that verse when I have to do something that I think is too hard. Um, Dallas, do you have something to say? No, no, I can't do that. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. That is it. You have twins. Yeah.
going fishing. Now you guys are having a great time down here. I'm going to take my fishing pole and I'm going to see if I can get me some big walleye. Or some big happy fish. Too. 
trying to fish and catch a fish, Satan wants to catch you and what are your business. And if he can do that by something that, that maybe you like or he can attract you by something bright and shiny, he'll use whatever means he can. So we always have to remember that this world is not our home, is it? And that we don't want to follow anything that's not of God. So you always want to make sure you don't fall for those tricks. Sometimes you will. You're going to trip up. We all do. Even I do. Even Sister Amber and Sister Stephanie and Brother Ryan. We all goof up once in a while. But the thing is that we know how to go back and we need to come to repent and ask God to forgive us. And we want to make sure that we protect our hearts from this world. And don't let it get snagged into the world and let them catch you with the word.
my friends. If you do whatsoever, I command you. John 15, 14. Okay, who thinks they can say it? And then, anybody? Archer? You want to try it? Okay. You. Which takes us to 
this. True or false? Jellyfish, crawfish, and starfish are not actually fish. Stand up if you think that's true. Sit down if you think it's false. Jellyfish, starfish, and crawfish are not really fish. It's true, they're not fish because they do not have a backbone. They have fish in their name, but they're not real fish. You have to have a backbone to get fish. True or false? Fish have lungs. Fish have lungs. If you think that's true, stand on your head. <laughs> if you think fish have lungs, stand on your head. If you think it's false, sit down. It's false. Fish do not have lungs. Fish have gills. Fish make sounds to talk to each other under the water. They communicate with their own fish sounds. Stand up if you think it's true. Sit down if you think it's false. It's true. Fish make sounds. Charlene does it anyways because God asked her to. So 
Charlene swims in the storm, and it took a while. It was really hard. And for three days, Charlene swam in the ocean with that man in her belly. That man was moving around. She could feel it. She could hear him crying. She could hear him praying. And she was like, what is going on? And after three days, God said, vomit him out. And Charlene was like, finally. She, was, she didn't argue with God. She was ready to have this man that was swimming around her stomach and talking out. So she goes up to the shore and says, <laughs> And out comes the man, and Charlene swims away. Well, who, if you had to guess, who was the man that she swallowed? Oh, No. And he told him, he said, it's okay. 
You can throw me overboard because God sent the storm because I disobeyed him. Because I didn't listen. Well, then the fish came and swallowed him up. We know that part. He was in there for three days. Threw up. Threw him up on the water. Not on the water, on the dry land. What do you think Jonah did after that? Do you think he got back on a boat and sailed away? Or do you think he went to Nineveh, Molly? He went to Nineveh. He went to Nineveh. And Jonah preached a message from God to the people of Nineveh. And the king of Nineveh heard it, and he was like, oh, we have been so bad for so long. So all the people of Nineveh, they prayed, and they repented of all their sins, and he forgave them, just like he had forgiven Jonah, right? All right. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to... Okay, so it's good to know that God is a God of second chances, right? Has, have you ever disobeyed your parents? Yes. yes. I think we all have done that. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? And then did you have to tell them you were sorry? Yeah. No. And was it one and, was it one and done? Were your parents like, well, that's it. You're out. You're living on the street. Don't know what to tell you. You messed up. No. Did your parents forgive you? Yes, that's right. Oh, well, you know. Guys, that's okay. We don't need you know. It's okay. But guess what? That's how God is. If we, it's best if God tells us to do something that we do it the first time. But if we don't do it the first time, we can go to God and we can say, God, I'm so sorry. I should have listened to you the first time. And just like our parents will give us a second chance, God will give us a second chance, right? But we should always try to obey God first. Because when God tells us to do something, it may be to protect us. Maybe he's telling us, hey, you got to get away from that. It's, it's bad for you. Or sometimes God tells us, hey, I need be correct you to be and when people see us listening to God that makes them want to listen to God, too. So we need to be like the fish, Charlie. When God calls us to do something, we don't swim away. We don't argue. Because Charlene didn't want to go to that boat in the storm with the fishermen. She was scared. We don't argue. But she did it, right? So we're not going to argue. We don't make excuses because the fish obeyed God. Jonah got a second chance, right? And the people of Nineveh got a second chance to find God. A whole city was saved because the fish listened to God. Nice. Wouldn't it be awesome if when God told us to do something, we did it right away? We didn't argue. We didn't make excuses. We just did it. It can be scary sometimes, but God will give you everything you need to do it. And so we always want to have a heart that will obey God and will listen to what he's telling us to do. I have a fun song I want to end with, so I want you guys all to get up. It's super fun. This isn't a real old song, so stand up with me.
Your art is done, put your hand down. So Okay. Okay, you put your hands down. Okay. Now, since I asked that, I'll say, how many of you plan to participate in the kids can cook? Hands up. Alright. Yep. You can do both. Yep. Whatever. You can do both or one or the other. Okay, you put your hands down. Okay. Sister Morley's not with us, but she'll be back next week. And she wanted to know, um, since she hasn't been here, who plans to do what and um, if we maybe need an art work day. So, so I'm going to report back to her that we've got, I counted 13 that said they haven't started. So we'll see. All right. Well, who knows what the kids cook is? Oh, yeah. Does anybody know what that is? It's a Sunday. It is a Sunday. You're close. It's a Sunday. March 18th. March 18th. March 18th. I thought it was the 15th. Well, we're going to confirm that. I, I thought it was the 18th. My birthday. Is it the 19th? I, I don't know. Let me look at the calendar. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get it confirmed, but it is a Sunday. Um, all right. Well, we have some time, you guys. So. Do we want to pick up our mats and bring them up here? No, no, let's put one. Let's put one. Oh, 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 oh,